Hola, senoras. Me llamo es... Yeah, no, I, I can't speak Spanish. So, this is a tutorial for a lightsaber in Final Cut Express. Um, pretty much the uh, finished project of what this, or the finished product of what this will look like is something like this. Um, first off, I'm going to say that this takes a lot of time, but it's good if you want to do a, an easy, well, not really easy, but if you want to do an, a lightsaber effect with a uh, Final Cut Express, if you don't have an expensive program like Adobe After Effects. So this is what the beginning footage looks like. As you can see, it's just me swinging around with lightsaber like a retard. Uh, so what... What you want to do first is um, find the point in the video where the lightsaber first appears. Uh, for the purpose of making it easier, I'm just going to cut to a random point, let's say right here. Look at that awesome facial expression. Yeah, anyway. Now, go go click on this button right here. Go to matte, and then go to color solid. Uh, something like this will come up. Now, go to the controls tab of this, click on that, uh, on the color, and then go to white. Click OK, video, and then just drag it down. Uh, drag it down to where the video starts. Now, if you go to video, it's going to be completely white. Um, you're going to want to cut this uh, white color down to one frame by dragging this thing down here all the way to the left. Now you see that that actually makes the timeline larger. So I'm going to click B, which goes to my blade tool. Lop it off to one frame, click A, goes back to my normal pointer, and then delete the rest of it. Now you have just one frame of color, you see. Okay, so now you would want to click D, which is the distort tool, or go to this, or go to the crop setting right here in the uh, right toolbar, and then uh, right click or hold down onto it, and then go to the picture that looks like a distorted square. And that will make it onto the distort tool. Now click on the white box that that's like this, and then grab one of the corners. This uh, weird symbol should show up. Now click and drag on the corner. You'll see that this distorts the um the white image, hence the name distort tool, and lets you drag it around. Now what you want to do for this is drag it around so that so that the white completely covers the green of your lightsaber or whatever lightsaber you're using um for the purpose of time i'm not going to do it because it actually takes a very long time so instead i'm just going to show you some finished uh finished lightsabers that i've done so as you'll see without the video this is what it looks like now with the uh, with the white mat, but without any of the effects on it. Whoopsie. And now you'll see that there. Now you'll see that there's just a uh, white mask over each of the frames of my lightsaber. So although this is a lengthy process, um, once you get completely finished, uh, what you want to do is right click in here and then click new sequence and then title it whatever you want. I'm just going to keep it at sequence 8. Now um, uh, grab all the still frames from here. You will see like a bunch of still frames lined up and then uh, double click on se sequence 8 and uh, copy and paste all of them into here. For right now, I don't have any because I didn't do it. From there, uh, drag your new sequence into the tool, in into your time frame where you want to be. Then grab the, uh, the sequence from the toolbar and drag it up into here. Uh, you see? So it looks like this. Now go to filters and then do uh, effects, video filters glow outer glow so what works for me is i 
changed up the radius, as you see here, up to 5, the brightness up to 97, the inner color to light green, the outer color to dark green, the range to 1, horizontal and vertical are both at 100, and the mix is at 100. Now I'm going to turn that on. Now you'll see my video that that I have that green that's around the lightsaber, but it still looks really weird. So what you're going to do from there is go effects, video filters, blur, and then channel blur. Once you find your channel blur, just um, change the amount of channel blur until it looks about right. For me, uh, I'm going to say that 12 is about right. So once again, this is what your finished product should look like. This has been another Final Cut tutorial.